Hi, I'm Annette from the Mudwad team. Today I'm going to show you how to build your Mudwad. First of all, let's make sure we have all the parts. We have our lid here, our hacker pack, our anode with the green wire, our cathode with the orange wire, our nitro gloves, our instructions, and our container. Now it's time to prepare our mud. Make sure you have your gloves on. I use dirt from my backyard, but our motto with the mud bot is any dirt will do. You want to avoid soil with vermiculite. These are little white balls that aerate the soil, and we don't want that. Add small amounts of water as needed and mix with the dirt so that the mud is saturated but not soupy. You'll want to rinse the mud off your gloves before moving on to the next step. Now we'll prepare our electrodes. Let's start with the anode. That's the one with the green wire. Bend the wire where the plastic sheath ends at a 90 degree angle. Then straighten out the bare end of the wire. Insert the wire in the felt disc, being sure that it doesn't poke through either side. Now let's do the cathode. Once again, bend the wire at a 90 degree angle where the plastic sheath ends. And again, straighten out the bare end of the wire. Insert the wire in the felt disc, making sure that the wire doesn't poke through either side of the felt. Now it's time to feed our mud wad. Add mud to your container to roughly the one centimeter line and pat down to make a smooth surface. Place the anode on the mud layer. Press down firmly, squeezing out any air pockets. Add more mud to your mud wad to roughly the five centimeter line. Like last time, pat down for a smooth surface. Place the cathode gently on top of the mud. Make sure that there is no mud on top of the cathode. Let your mud watt rest for a few minutes and drain any excess liquid. Now we're going to prepare the lid. This is a good time to either wash your hands or remove your gloves. Take your hacker board out of the hacker pack and place on the indentation of the lid. Wipe any excess mud from the rim of your container. Place the anode, that's the one with the green wire, through the hole in the lid closest to the negative symbol in the hacker board. Now place the cathode, that's the one with the orange wire, through the hole in the lid closest to the positive symbol on the hacker board. Now attach the lid to the container, making sure it snaps into place. Put the orange cathode wire into the pin with the positive symbol. the green
green anode wire into the pin with the negative symbol. Now your Mudwatt microbial fuel cell is ready to start producing power. Check out our other tutorials to set up your Mudwatt in the blinker and clock modes. Thanks for watching.